The blades on massive wind turbines can be as long as a football field and strong as a linebacker. They are designed not to break. So when your job is to break them, obviously it's tough. Julie Angelo brought us to this quarry in Louisiana, Missouri. What is all this stuff? This is our storage of windmill blades before we process them. Her company, Veolia, cuts used blades down to size and shreds them. Um, so this is our final product. Cement makers use it as fuel instead of burning coal, cutting planet warming carbon emissions at the cement plant by nearly 30 percent. If you weren't recycling all of this, what would happen? What would or what also does happen, unfortunately, um, a lot of those end up in landfill. Most used windmill blades are buried in the ground because it's cheaper. A black eye for green energy. By 2050, the world's wind industry is expected to produce more than 47 million tons of blade waste each year. Finding ways to recycle blades. This panel is not necessarily suitable for reuse. As well as used solar panels is now energizing the industry. This solar panel recycling plant in Yuma, Arizona, can process 7,500 panels a day. Solar is the fastest growing source of energy in the U.S. Panels can last for 25 to 30 years, but more than 90 percent of used solar panels end up in landfills. Why were most solar panels not recycled? There was no planning to handle the waste, and that is the biggest challenge. It was just going into dumpsters. Now, with a tsunami of renewable waste coming, recyclers are ramping up to ride the wave. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Louisiana, Missouri.